welcome back to part two. Here's our machine all set up with my applications installed, configured how I want. Now I'm going to run sysprep which lives in C Windows System32. In there is another folder called sysprep and in there is the sysprep executable. Run it and we're going to want to the OBE, tick generalize and we're going to want to shut down the machine when it's finished. Click OK and sysprep will jump in, anonymize the machine, get it ready for imaging and shut it down. Now I'm going to boot this machine to the network and hopefully it should boot from the WDS machine. I'm going to capture an image and the boot files will load, Windows PE will fire up, next the volume I'm going to capture is D, remember C is reserved for Windows PE give the image a sensible name and I'm just going to copy and paste that into description as well and click next. Now I'm going to save the image onto the machine itself. It saves it there first then uploads it. So I'm going to save it on the D drive. Again give it a sensible name and remember to put .wim on the end of it. I'm going to upload it once it's done. So put in the IP address of your WDS server and click connect. Now authenticate using the domain backslash username format. Type in the password. and click OK. Now we've authenticated we can see the image group that we created in the first video. Click Next. Now this takes ages, I've speeded it up considerably. So this will be an opportune time for you to go and visit www.petnetlive.com Once it's uploaded to the WDS server simply click Finish and now if you scoot across to your WDS server you'll see that in your image group there's your image uploaded and ready for deployment. In the next part, we'll do some answer for us.